beautiful beautiful people welcome and welcome back it is Deandra if you are new here now I'm talking about jewelry and actually before I get into this because I did talk about my outfit in another video um and I believe that was the lululemon video but I forgot to talk about the perfume that I wore that day I wore this combination so if you guys don't remember my Juneteenth purchases as you can see there's a bit of a dent already this is the Deandra Craigman Studios um fragrance but it's not a fragrance it's actually a room spray also is a home fragrance and this is the dark rose patchouli um I spray it on my clothes not particularly my skin but I pair this with this so let me give you the box because I saved the box for you guys this is here goes the box it is um, from lovery okay Madagascar vanilla okay and it's a uh, um, 15 ml um 0.51 fluid ounces bottle um i wanted to try it out before getting the bigger one because the reviews i got this from macy's i had like a 50 or 30 dollar um star money and i was like i don't really want anything so i just looked at cheap stuff not really cheap stuff but things that were on last act that i could probably use you know probably underwear socks because you can never not have enough of those and then this came across and I was just like I was intrigued there was a few um travel scents that were there that were you know about 30 36 dollars but I was just like you know what let me try this I'll put down how much I paid for it um I after everything all include total I think I did go a little bit over the 30 dollars and I just um paid for more um paid the um the balance but I did get something else along with this it was just share stocks because you can never not have enough during the summer, right? So, um, and as you can see, I have a dent in this as well. So I've been pairing these two together and I spray this primarily on my clothes and then I spray this on my clothes and on my skin. Then I go back over with this again because I feel like this would attach to the scent, if that makes any sense, more so than my clothes. Now, this is a vanilla scent with the rose, like you just, it just works okay this I can't tell you how good it is however they both do not last okay it, it will be there for like probably a, a good two hours and after that I don't smell it I don't and I don't think I've heard anybody else say oh you smell good because I think it's gone okay so yeah that's just the scent thing so after this I'm not getting the bigger one I don't know I love the scent it does have a strong um, alcohol scent in the beginning but it it lulls down it does it really does lull down so if you like vanilla i didn't know if i would on its own so that's why i got this i'm sorry for the noise outside it is july 4th not weekend but it's july 3rd so july 4th is coming so you're hearing all the firecrackers and all that stuff which i am trying to you know go above that so let's talk about la visa i did do a community post about it because um my, i had a family member come up and they were shopping and we were in king's plaza like all the time <laughs> to be honest and i didn't need anything in king's plaza so i didn't shop but i just poked my head in la visa because let me show you what i had before that i was like you know what let me just see if they have anything so i bought this last year Oh, I also bought something else last year, which I actually did make a video me wearing them. Let me bring them out. So yes, these were the first two purchases I ever made from La Visa. This one is just a simple flowery hoop, which looks really cute on. And this one is um, gold plated with semi-precious stones. I don't think this is actual jade, but it was a pretty penny, almost like 20 five dollars okay because it's considered a little bit of premium selection if that makes any sense so i have not worn it yet but as i did tell you i'm a sucker for jade and emerald and gold so it was up my alley so i popped my head in and i got a few more things now um this was kind of on the premium section selection side a little bit um yes because almost all of these here have like precious stones in them I have not worn them yet <laughs> but I did bring them on travels because I had like little um, domestic trips that I was going on so this is the first one this was giving me like 80s vibes 
not 80s, 90s vibes. I don't know about anything about the 80s because I'm a 90s baby. So yes, let me stop moving them. This is giving me 90s vibes. Um, like something that you would see back in that time frame, but you is also like boho chic almost in a sense. I'll put all of these on for you so you guys can see what it is. It would have been better if my hair was pulled back, but we're gonna work with what we got, right? Um, so that's one. The next one is this one. You know, I can't get away from jade and gold. Um, this one is a hoop. Um, the flower, unlike the flowers, these do not move, meaning that they are stationary, but they do dangle and move in that way. So yes, that is a hoop. And the last one, which took forever for me to pull the plug, is this pink opal looking one. And I believe is not, I feel like the metal is almost a little bit um, rose goldish, but for the most part, it's just like a light champagne gold, okay? So yes, let's start off with this one. Um, the amount that this was was $16.99. This is a hook, circle hook closure. Um, so you don't need like a little earring back or anything like that, which is also good. But I didn't know at first if I would like the fact that it wasn't like hook because the circle part may be a bit too much, but I said, you know what? It doesn't matter, $16, right? So this is what it's looking like. I think it looks really cute on. Um, it does kind of poke out a little bit on the sides, but from far away, like even with I'm wearing this, like you, you will never ever be able to tell unless you come up really, really close and see, you know what I mean? Um, but obviously this is something that I would prefer to wear my hair back or my hair up or something like that. I think that would look really nice. Let me not mess up my wash and go. Um, but yes, this is what it's looking like. So it, they do have an online store. So if you don't have a Lovisa near you, check their website. However, I would say the pictures online don't do it justice. They're not modeled. So I would say you don't really get to envision the piece that much until you see it in person. Seeing it in person is all the difference, especially with jewelry. Um, yeah fashion jewelry in this sense yeah you need to see it in person um so yeah this is the first one now let's go with this um 90s one i just think the silver just makes it seem like 90s with the blue um this one was 14.99 i think the hook is enough that you probably don't need a stopper in the back but if you want more security those silicone pieces would be enough Yes, I knew what I was thinking when I saw this. It looks really cute on. I feel like this could have been really nice casually um, and so forth like that. Um, yeah, I think this is a really nice addition. I don't really have anything like this because usually I always go with jade or green with like gold. So silver is a new change of pace. And I think it looks really cute. What do you guys think? And I think this is quite affordable. It's not she and affordable, but let me tell you. Okay, I'll give you an update about that in a quick second. Um, and now these last ones from La Visa. Um, I'm always skeptical with a hoop like this because I feel like it pokes out. But I feel like if you have hair to kind of camouflage it, it's not as noticeable. If that makes any sense. You'll see what I'm saying. You see how it just pokes out like that? But with the hair, it, it's not as noticeable. But if I had my hair back, it would look a bit like out of place. Like it's just poking out too much. But yeah, that's the only thing that I was debating so hard with this in store. But I was like, I knew I was going to be thinking about the earrings. I hate it when I leave a place and I'm dreaming and just thinking about an item that I felt like I should have purchased. And so yeah, this is a, a item where you need to have hair down for you to see the true beauty of it. You cannot wear this with your hair slicked back. If you do your hair up in a pineapple method, you need your tendrils, your hair, um, just you know, wrapping your face, trying to you know, get in the way a little bit to wrap your face and also the jewelry piece. But yes, this is, the earrings i think it looks really cute on it's not poking me at all and i like that you can kind of hear it you know i actually really like this mm, i'm so glad i got it you see i knew what i went with my instincts because i knew i was going to be thinking about this piece every single time or every single day afterwards leaving there and especially since we kept going back to 
King's Plaza because my friend couldn't get enough of it. So yeah. Um, yeah, I'm happy that I got them. They're super, super cute. Okay, so speaking about Shein, I did, as I said, I was using this as to carry all my, um, my, my jewelry that I need. And if you guys don't remember, I'm just going to carry them out individually. I bought these two earrings, right? This one, I don't know if you can tell, it has like a marble-like, just like this is very marble-like, and I wore them. I actually wore this with this outfit when I went out for dinner um, a few weeks ago. And this one, I was wearing like a chocolate, I was just wearing a nice outfit to work, and I said, you know what, let me wear this. So um, almost two days in a row, or almost three days in a row, I was wearing foreign metals in my ears from Shein, and it was Shein jewelry one of my ears could not take it anymore and it started to like fall like make have an infection almost nothing was pussy like or or anything like that it was just like it was it was having a bump there because it was just irritated so i had to take it out and just wear my actual gold hoops so that it just get less irritated and just be with itself and so forth like that and as i said it was just one ear it was this ear and after that it just went away so i realized for these i've had others that i've worn that i've not had any issues whatsoever but it seems like these the metal that they use and they do have different vendors the metals that they use for this is my ears do not like it whatsoever they also are a bit heavy but hey they are super cute but I, at least i know now not to wear them a lot so that is la visa i can finally throw away this and if you guys don't remember my gold hoops i got these from macy's let me just close them for you they are tri-colored they have white gold yellow gold and rose gold and this is real gold but it's not solid i believe it is hollow because it feels quite light which I don't mind actually because I don't want it to be all over the place or too heavy rather. So I wanted to give you an update because around my birthday towards the um, Christmas time of last year, I did tell you that on top of the bracelets that I got, I did buy some dainty jewelry from Macy's that were pretty inexpensive because they were on sale, which were, um, they were from Gianni Bernini. I hope I'm not butchering their name. I got this red one and this blue one, right? This is sodalite. I think this is red jasper. These are real stones. They feel substantial. I love them. And I love them so much that ever since buying these two, I got the full set of the rest of them. So I got the rose quartz okay i love it and i got the turquoise they're all with silver settings okay and i love the detailing um i'll link the video down below where i went up very close so you can see the detailing of the setting um i love the detailing of the setting it's all the same they have like this caviar almost looking setting at the top um it's really really pretty it's simple cute and i love the fact that it's real stone and it's sterling silver and they're not over 30 dollars well <clears throat> let me say this on sale they're not over 30 dollars okay and i always get them on a sale and the last one is the amethyst okay and if you guys don't know purple specifically lavender and lilac are my favorite colors but almost all shades of purple i cannot resist and i love how this looks so i've been loving that then i saw the necklaces because it's a whole set but you have to buy it separately and um i couldn't tell which one i liked i didn't think i would like it in all of them to be honest but i think i got the right pair so i got this silver with the sodalite and i'm gonna put them on with the blue so you can see i think this will look so nice against a nice white flowy maxi dress for the summer i think that would be a nice date night look i did buy one from future collective from target which i need to go and follow up on because i have not seen it yet and it said it has been delivered 
so there's going to be a problem very soon because that should have been here already um and <laughs> it was about 30 dollars, but still I, I want my I, I want my items so this is the necklace oh the clasp is a bit dainty i'm not gonna lie um this is the clasp this is what I gotta work with. So yes, here it goes. I think this looks really pretty together. Just imagine the dress that I do have is a white tube dress. And I could kind of bring this up a little bit closer to my neck so it's not as far down. So it'll be like this, okay? Um, and I think that would be nice against the white dress. But that's if I just wanna dress it up, like if it's like a, uh, dinner date in the summertime or traveling and I'm going on the resorts and I just want to dress up a little bit nicer for that evening you do kind of have to position it so it's in the middle um, and all that stuff but I feel like this is a really good set I am thinking however to get the necklace for the rose quartz and that's alone that's it alone i'm not getting it for the whole amount of them because honestly i don't think it would look nice for all of them the only one that i came close to getting was the amethyst oh did i drop it the only one i got close to getting was the amethyst instead of this one oh now i'm thinking i should get it okay so i think i would only get the necklace just like this for both the rose quartz and the amethyst and then i think i'm done i'm not getting it for all the different earrings or the different color earrings as well that's just overkill i think that's too much for me um but yeah i think i'll put the links down below for them i think they're definitely worth a purchase i think it's quite inexpensive on a sale and it's really good materials and you can't go wrong with them it is a little bit more of a mature look but guess what i like all the looks okay and sometimes you just need a little bit of blue and silver in your life right so yes that is officially the ending of this video i hope you guys are doing well wherever you are and as always have a good one bye